Love bombing may sound like a newly coined phrase, but it isn't at all. A little history lesson. In the 1970s, the expression love bombing was coined by members of the Unification Church of the United States. And since then, a psychology professor called Margaret Singer was one of the first people to report on the concept in her 1996 book, Cults in Our Mist. Paraphrasing, Professor Singer essentially wrote about how cult members would love bomb their new recruits. Feigning friendship and interest in the new recruit, love bombing was a coordinated effort. They would use flattery, verbal seduction, affectionate but usually non-sexual touching, and lots of attention to completely win over their new recruit. And once they were in too deep, everything would come to an abrupt halt. By then, this new recruit would literally wake up from their slumber and realize just how big of a mistake they had made. Scary. Hi there. So today's conversation might sound very far away or very close by, depending on your own personal experiences when it comes to love and relationships. But I think love bombing is something that people in relationships today absolutely need to know about because it can be very dangerous and can give the other partner who's doing the love bombing a lot of power and control, often to the detriment of the receiver. So before I really get into the signs, let me just mention this. Do not mistake someone who is genuinely in love with you for another person who is really a love bomber. You can only tell someone is a love bomber when you stick around long enough to see just how fast and how rapidly their behavior changes after they manage to get you in a relationship with them. Yes, some love bombers will even take you to the altar. And it's after the marriage, maybe a kid or two, is when you will see their true signs and their true character. And that's what sort of gives you a sense that they were insincere all along, just playing this narcissistic game that you fail to see through. And it's something I really wanna talk about today because typically when people think of love bombers, they think of men doing that to women. But on the other hand, women can also be very devious love bombers and Often than not, men who are at the receiving end of such a woman can find themselves in a very serious rut. So in today's video, I'll share with you sinister signs that you're being love bombed to enable you be able to identify that early in a relationship and not fall victim to it. I'll be right back. So love bombers are really good at their craft and usually they're also narcissists. What they typically do is they will become whoever you want them to be just to make sure that they can secure a relationship with you. They will shower you with gifts. They will do whatever you want. If you want them to bear a million babies, they will say yes from the get-go, even though they have their own ulterior motives and plans on what they want to do or how they want the relationship to progress. Now, once you commit to them in a relationship or even take it a step further to take them down the aisle, you will discover that after, say, a baby or two, they will completely change and become who they've always wanted to be. Suddenly they're not as loving, they're not as giving, they're not as affectionate, sex is being used as a weapon, and so many other things that will not make you happy in that relationship. And so if you're able to really identify these things early on, then you will save yourself a whole lifetime of heartache, a waste of money, and so much more. Because mind you, once you guys get married, if you're gonna divorce her, chances are she's gonna fight you for half of everything. Stay tuned as I jump right into the signs that you are being love bombed. Number one, they give you excessive compliments. So are you with this woman who just seems to always talk about how great of a man you are, how you've achieved so much, literally singing your praises two, four, seven, making you feel like you're on top of the world. You know, she's good, her tongue is bathed in honey, and she can tell you whatever you want to hear, and you will believe it. If you are dating a woman who will tell you everything you want to hear, and not object to anything you want, at any point in time, because she seemingly does not have an opinion, you need 
to be really, really careful on how you approach a relationship with her. It could be a sign that she's a love bomber. Number two, when she wants to be whoever you want her to be. Want her to be a housewife? She'll do it. Want her to be a businesswoman? She'll do it. Want her to be an entrepreneur because you plan on opening or starting a business with her? She'll do it. She has no personal dreams for herself. Whatever it is, she does not challenge you. She does not request anything from you. Everything you say is yes sir, massa. She does not object to anything. I mean, whatever your request is, no matter how ridiculous it is, she will not offer any kind of objection, but will be whoever you want her to be. And she most of the time will demonstrate it. Like if you want your shoes removed every time you come home from work, it will get done. If you want your bed laid, it will get done. You know, there is no objection there. Number three, she introduces you to important people early. Now, as part of a love bombers plot, she will introduce you to the most important people in her life. Because don't forget, her main objective is to have you by the balls. Have you in a very tight corner where there's no wiggle room and you know, basically you have to commit because she seems to be your dream woman and may have dropped literally from heaven onto your lap. She's in a hurry for you to meet her family. She's in a hurry for you to meet her friends. And there seems to be no filter whatsoever. You met her yesterday and already she's introducing you to the very rich uncle. You know, she is in such a hurry to get you interwoven into her life and into her family's lives because she can see the potential that you can bring to her and she doesn't want to lose you to another woman. Love bombers are big opportunists and they will do whatever it takes to ensure that they have their claws in you, in your money, in your future. They want to be a part of it. There's always an ulterior motive and for that matter you should never take things at face value when it comes to her right? Don't get me wrong. It's a great thing if the woman you're dating or the woman you're in love with wants you to be, you know, part of her family. But there's just this sense of urgency to it when you're dealing with a love bomber. It's almost as if she's not giving you breathing space. She puts you in very tight situations where you cannot say no. You're not ready to meet the, her father yet because you barely know her, but she will create an instance, for instance, where her father just shows up at some place and you will have to be introduced. Take note don't fall for it. Number four, she says, I love you very fast. Now I do believe in love at first sight. And sometimes those words slip out of your mouth even before you can catch yourself. But you know, it's almost as if she says it a bit too quickly. Like you haven't even shown interest to the, you know, extent that she would be comfortable enough to tell you that she loves you. And yet here she is dropping all those words and making you feel like you absolutely need to say it back, right? She loves you. She adores you. She wants to be with you. She, you're the man of her dreams. You know, she says those words and you can almost sense that there isn't a deeper meaning to it. It's just surface level. It's her way once again of pinning you down and putting her claws into you. At that point, she's giving you subtle pressure and she's almost forcing you to say, I love you back. She wants this relationship with you badly and she will do and say whatever it takes to get it. For her, it took absolutely no time for her to fall in love with you. It's a no brainer. She's seen you, she's seen your potential, she loves you and she wants to marry you. Number five, now hold it right there before we go into our next pointer. Remember the video is sponsored by Passion Air. It is a Ghanaian airline that helps take you from one Ghanaian city to the next quickly and affordably. If you ever find yourself in the motherland, make sure you fly around with Passion Air. Number five, she guilt trips you into having boundaries. Now, in the previous point, I talked about how she says, I love you so easily, so fast, because she knows exactly what she wants, right? Um, and then when you don't say I love you back, she sort of guilt trips you into the whole, well, I told you I love you, and it's like, you don't love me too, and that's why you're not saying it back. Like, did I do something wrong? Am I not good enough for you? And she can go on and on and on until you give in 
and actually say, and I love you back when you don't even mean it, right? If you ever tell her you're moving too fast, can we take this slow? She'll guilt trip you on how, you know, um, someone in her previous relationship treated her the same way and left her, you know, in the dirt, but pretty much when it really mattered and you're doing the same thing because you probably don't care. You know, they have all these ways to make you feel guilty for drawing boundaries. If you are in a relationship like that, where it seems as if you are just being forced from start to finish to uh, apply or attach such importance to the relationship in which you find yourself, then you might just be dating a love bomber and you really need to be careful about that. Number six, she commits to you super fast. If you notice with every pointer that I've given you, there's always this sense of urgency that just comes through. It's like, this has to be now, this has to be immediate. There's, there's no breathing space. It's like, she's not even giving you time to think through what you really want from this thing. You know, she's texting you two, four, seven. She's just in your space, making sure that you cannot interact with any other woman because she's there with you two, four, seven. You can't even pick up your phone because she's there on your lap, literally begging for attention and making sure that she's the only one that you think about. Love bombers typically commit to you very, very quickly. You could literally meet her today and tomorrow she's your girlfriend and you can't even do anything about it because you didn't know until five minutes ago that you're in a serious relationship with a girl you met just yesterday. Number seven, she wants to move in together with you ASAP. Red flag. If you ever meet a woman who's so quick to jump into your home and stay with you, she comes over for the first night, leaves a toothbrush. Next night, she leaves her sponge. The next night, she leaves panties. Next night, she's asking for space in your drawer. In less than two weeks, she wants to move in with you and act like a wife. You might be dealing with a love bomber and you need to be really, really cautious about that. Else you will be in a serious situation. And before I could say, Jack, it will cost you thousands, if not millions of, of, of whatever currency, you know, you spend where you are um, to detangle or detach yourself from this person. Number eight. Now, love bombers also want to spend time with you nonstop. You met her at a function last week. Suddenly every weekend she wants to be with you. Weeknights after work, she'll find her way in your house or to your house. You know, she's constantly in your space and it's for a reason. She wants to make sure that she's the only one that you think about. She doesn't give you breathing space. Such a woman is dangerous. Take note, it's a big red flag that you might be dealing with a love bomber. And finally, number nine. She goes overboard with expensive gifts. So it's not even your birthday. She says, oh, you know, I was in a shop down the street and I saw this watch that I think will look really good on you, so I bought it for you. Or I saw this tie. I think it will be great with the suit you wore last week to work, you know, and a tie isn't even expensive, but I'm sure you catch my drift. She's buying you expensive gifts so you feel guilty if you ever try to leave her because it's like, she's done so much for me. I've even seen women who've gone to the extent of like renting houses or paying for the rent of guys that they date because they want to create this impression that they've got it covered. They've got the man's back and no matter what he needs, they are gonna be there to support him. And they'll be more than happy to do that over and over and over again. And if this man who is completely oblivious to what's really going on, to the web that she's spinning, falls into that trap, then he's gonna find himself at the short end of the stick at the end of the day. So be really, really careful because identifying these signs very early on in relationships could save you from a future of heartbreaks. And please, whatever you do, do not date blindly. Now, the truth is, if you've been watching this video till, till this point, whether you're male or female, all the stuff that I talked about when it comes to love bombing pretty much applies for both sexes. So there's a lesson in here for both sexes to actually take away with. It's not just for men, but it's for women as well. So if you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yes, I will see you on the next video. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.